I've been working on uh, square formats for a long time. I don't use them exclusively, um, but I love them because I don't feel like one dimension is any more dominant than the other. So it really sort of opens up the composition to be uh, about whatever you want it to be. And so there wasn't really a nece necessarily a focal point in this piece. It's like, you know, 50% sky and 50% water. Um, but I like that those elements are sort of weighted equally. So, you know, having grown up, spent so much time on Block Island, obviously, you know, just being near the water, um, something that inspires me and feeds my soul, frankly. And so every time I'm out on the water, I'm just like hanging over the side of the boat, snapping as many photos as I can. And then I take them back to my studio and use them as a visual reference. Um, so it's hard to say if this, um, you know, water reference was from Block Island specifically, or just another time I was out on the water. The idea is definitely to sort of evoke this feeling, of sort of a coastal environment. Painters have been exhibiting their work virtually for well over a decade now. But I know that it's certainly a new format for Block Island and for Jesse Edwards Gallery. So in this particular context, uh, a virtual exhibition to me points to perseverance, right? Like the show must go on. We can't all be together right now, but you know, painters are still producing work. Galleries are still showing people's work. I know there is a culture of people that are still collecting painters' work right now. And I think it's incredibly encouraging. I think it's phenomenal that in this incredibly difficult time, we can all still band together and experience life slightly differently than we had before, but you know, still really doing what we, enjoying the things that we enjoyed and doing the things that we love to do. So to me, a virtual exhibition um, means, you know, life is a little bit different right now, but we are, we're pressing forward.